Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We were looking for more information about these Ballon d'Or cards and we got it. But it's a little confusing because there's actually two promos that are happening tomorrow. The Centurions promo and the Ballon d'Or event. But this Ballon d'Or event is only for loan cards. We'll explain it all today because there's a lot to discuss with this, but also we'll look into this Centurions promo that is coming tomorrow with two massive leaked SBCs. Guys, there's a lot to discuss. We've got to talk about the market too. It's Rivals Roar today. Are we going to be making some coins? Will the market be rising per usual? A lot to discuss. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content. Man, guys, content right now in this game is kind of cooked, I'll be honest. This second week of Trailblazers is not bringing the juice whatsoever. We had yet again another Cosmetic Evo. 25,000 coins this time for the Team of the Week Plus. Card design actually looks pretty cool, but I don't know. The difference between 10,000 coins for this Trailblazer and 25,000 for this Team of the Week, I don't know. I just, I don't like this one as much as I like the Trailblazer one. Maybe it's because I just know that most Team of the Weeks right now are behind the curves so they are not in my team. So I know that I would be evolving that player in the future and, and getting rid of this 25,000 coin Cosmetic Evo, right? Because if you did not know, if you put a Cosmetic evo on a player when you evo them again like if you made them red or purple through those evolutions they will no longer have that card design if you evolve them again so that's one of the things here that i'm like i don't know if there's a player in my club that i really want to spend twenty five thousand coins on to give this evolution design to but that is there and it's yet again another cosmetic evo for me though that one just not as good as the trail blazers one also just looks i think okay now let's talk about sbcs yesterday where we were surprised by EA not dropping the 85 plus RTTK rush and upgrade pack, the party bag, right? That was the code that we looked at. Those were the cards that we had in the code or the pack that we had in the code rather. And sorry, moving the camera down. I forgot. I was playing games um, and we didn't get it. We got the same one. So the question is, where is the 85 plus one? Is it going to come out next week? Is it going to be somewhat in objective somewhere or something like that? That's really random that we had the exact same upgrade pack and then it didn't change. Anyways, it is still cheap. It's that 82 and 83 rated squad as it normally is. And that did make fodder move a little bit. I think what fodder moved the most was actually team of the weeks. 83s, 84s, and team of the weeks. If you had any of those, they did go up. Team of the weeks were selling, I believe, over 15,000 coins it is nice to see these cards rising on the market if you've been invested in them for a while they did rise up nice now we did have a brand new team of the week so it looks like those cards are bringing maybe some of these team of the weeks from, from old down again one thing that we'll talk about with team of the weeks is there's no more 80 to 82 rated they're all going to be 83 and above that might in fact impact the uh fodder team of the weeks just a little bit but speaking of fodder 83s were selling at 1.1k maybe even 1.2 looks like there's Still close to that and then 84s are now down to 2.9k they were all the way up at like 3.3 but they did look a lot looks like here they just dropped off almost directly after that sbc was released as people were probably selling them before the rewards content today but they definitely did bump up for a little bit of time after that party bag was released we also yesterday had a trailblazers challenge six which i have not done yet but it's for a prime gold players pack and i do believe it's got a max number of either nationalities or leagues in it it's all around the liverpool's strong season start so i think there might be some premier league cards maybe check your club there might be some prem cards that are moving a bit on the market because of that sbc uh, it's too bad that some of the one of the things that ea promo it as a big feature this year is not working on all the cards like when you click the stick over or flick the stick over and you see the average price it's not really working it's only for like smith and rooney on my transfer list here and that's kind of the same thing with like silvers and golds it's really nice to see if you have a card in your club that's selling for a bunch of coins especially if it's like a bronze or a silver selling for a couple thousand i wish that that feature was active for all cards and up to date because it'd be really nice to see just for a quick check when you're in game if you have something that's selling for extra. Now, as a part of content yesterday as well, we had a brand new team of the week headlined by the main man, Yikeres. This guy has a lot of hype and his card price shows it. He had a crazy spike just a couple of hours ago. He went from 214K up to over 300,000 and he's coming back down again. Now, I will say, we're getting Rivals Rewards today, which is bringing in supply for these cards that are going to get packed. I would imagine he's going to drop. I would imagine Kerkez gets dropped, Lawrence, Diani, 
All these cards are probably going to get supplied today. This is a decent team of the week, though. Yikrez is nice. Diani is actually pretty nice, too. If you wanted to use this card, Linker, with the other D1 Arkema cards out right now, maybe Lindsay Haran, a.k.a. the Budget Puteus. I'm still on that. Uh, this card is not that far off from her 1 million coin Road to the Knockouts item. Not that far off at all. So that's a decent card there. And then Onabatye is a cheap beast for 24,000 coins. I'm sure you guys remember some of her older cards. Look at that boost. We go from an 85 to an 86, but plus four pace and then plus three passing uh, defense and physical. That's something to note with this team of the week, guys, is that EA, they didn't even really announce it, or maybe I missed it if they did, but there are no more team of the weeks below 83 rated that's kind of they're lifting the floor of team of the week cards to try to keep them in the power curve if you will and it also helps for maybe better cards to evolve in the future and it just kind of gives us more usable cards in the here and now harry wilson with an 83 rated card this buyer from dortmund with an 83 rated as well kleindensed hato a lot of people are looking at this card for air to busy links from ix he looks like a decent card he can also play center back too so it's not a terrible team of the week because of those small finite details that are here as a part of it. And there are multiple featured cards in here. Yikerez is featured, and I forget. Oh, Kerkez. Kerkez is the other featured card as well. So instead of just one, there is two. Now, that's kind of the situation with Team of the Week. I guess we'll see some more about the Team of the Week stuff going forward in terms of bigger upgrades. They'll change that throughout the year. That's something that we saw last year, too. Let's talk about Road to the knockouts guys because we had more champions league games yesterday and that means more card prices are moving on the market arsenal lost inter won. that means this demarco card he's not even going up that much but he is slightly up in value because he has clinched a plus one and we've added a couple more players to the list of upgrades that will be happening this friday araujo is going to get upgraded le melu is going to get a double upgrade DeMarco is going to get a uh, upgrade as well, just a plus one. And then, of course, you have all the cards that played on Tuesday that are going to get upgrades as well. So, of course, that means we got more live cards coming in today for the Europa League and for the Com Conference League matches. Like Malo Gusto is one card that I've actually purchased heading into today. Kuti Romero is another card who's already got a plus one. But if Spurs score today, he will be going up to a 90 rated center back with a roll plus plus now remember for some of these cards yes they're getting a plus one um i forget who it is exactly is it demarco did they score in their games hold on actually i think demarco they got three wins no nah, they got three wins and the tracker's not updated here so that he's going to get a plus one but not a roll plus plus because he just um hit the three wins which is just a plus one overall but remember if the team is hitting the Score one goal in four different league matches. They get the overall upgrade, and they also get the roll plus plus. And, of course, I mean, we haven't looked at DeMarco's price or too many others at the moment, but there are some prices dropping because of cards that are uh, that have lost. Like yesterday, this Barcola went from 430 k down to 330 He's back up to 368 So there are drops, and there are some rebounds. But that's just one thing to watch out for with these RTTKs. Again, upgrades will be happening for these cards tomorrow potentially early also if you're somebody who's trying to do the whole situation with goncalo inacio from sporting especially if you're trying to link the new uh Yikerez card i don't think his price range is going to get upgraded but you do need to get the evolution completed if you're going to do the evo for this card before he gets the rttk upgrade i think you need to get the evo com done and completed before the rttk upgrades come out that's one thing i wanted to mention there now that's all of yesterday's stuff we'll try to get through it as fast as we can to talk about the news related to the ballon d'or event and if you didn't see it it's actually in the menus here on the news tab if you press triangle you can go over one and see the trailblazer stuff and then see the ballon d'or stuff so let's talk about this guys because it's a new type of event it's not a promo it's an event because I think it's not a whole week, guys. The Ballon d'Or weekend is a new type of event in game for Ultimate Team in addition to the upcoming Centurions campaign. So Centurions promo is happening tomorrow like a normal promo Friday with everything that we normally see for a promo. But at the same time, we're going to have this Ballon d'Or event. They're saying that we're going to use global loan only loans. Ballon d'Or players across the weekend to unlock permanent rewards for the club. And when you first log in, we're all going to get two special player picks with these Ballon d'Or players in them, containing a selection of this year's Ballon d'Or nominees available as global loans. Ballon d'Or players will not be in store packs. So Centurions, normal promo, in packs, all that. Ballon d'Or weekend, 
only loan cards. They're giving us two for free. And it sounds like, based on the loading screen, there's going to be 10 loan possible players from the men's side and the women's side. We're going to get one men's pick. We're going to get one women's pick. And we'll get to choose. It's a one of five. So you have a pool of 10 players on each side. You'll get five cho uh, choices. You'll be able to pick one. And then from there, we take those Ballon d'Or cards into, I'm guessing, Weekend League or any game mode and use them to obtain permanent rewards. I guess that could be packs. I guess that could be, you know, as something as little as coin boosts, maybe evolution unlocks. Imagine we could unlock a Ballon d'Or card design evolution as a part of this objective or something that's going to be out. That would be cool. Or, of course, players, right? Maybe a Centurions player uh, would be unlocked through this. I don't think we'd unlock a Ballon d'Or player because, again, this sounds like it's going to be only for loans related to the Ballon d'Or cards. But that's kind of how this is looking like it's going to work. We get two free player picks, and we're going to use those cards to unlock rewards. Kind of reminds me of the Nike promo at the beginning of FC25, just a little bit, because these are going to be global loans. It also reminds me of FIFA 23, um, when we had those global loans for the World Cup. If you guys remember these cards, which these will these were annoying for sure, and they were in the game for a long time. These are only going to be in from the start of this weekend, which actually this Ballon d'Or weekend event stuff starts before content on Friday as well. It's going to start early. I think it starts around the same time that Weekend League starts actually. So I think the whole point is that we could use these cards in Weekend League. So I think there's some positives to this and I think there's some negatives. The first thing is when it comes to positives, I guess this is kind of cool um, just because it's different. But I'm, I kind of want to go to the negatives first, actually. Let's talk about the negatives, guys. Loans. When you see loans, you're like, um, well, that just, I don't know. When you see something about loans, you're just like, that doesn't mean I get to keep the card. I don't get to hold on to it. What's the point is the, the thing you think about with loans, right? Totally hear that. Totally agree with that. I think what this comes down to and how hype it's going to be or how hype it's not going to be is what the rewards are through the objectives. If the rewards are good, if that objective or whatever that we're playing for with these Ballon d'Or cards is good, then I think there's actually, there could be some W's to this. I don't, I don't know. I hope EA actually do this well because this is our first experience, first time ever with this sort of event and also with Ballon d'Or content. And if it's Ballon d'Or, I mean, the card design looks, I don't know, just like we use the word regal with the team of the year card design, it just looks special special it looks sick right and i i hope that the rewards are sick as well and i hope it is actually worth it and it's not super crazy of a grind and then it's just fun to do something different that's what i'm hoping for but i could also see this be very annoying if you're only able to play with these cards for a couple of days and then of course you're going to see them everywhere in weekly right let's say if everybody is giving or getting a lone player pick with Vinny and jude and rodri as a choice inside of it as one of the 10 players on the men's side People are probably going to take Jude. People are going to probably take Vinny. Um, and then you're going to be running around with that player during Weekend League for the whole weekend to complete your objectives. That's going to be a little bit annoying probably to see the same Ballon d'Or players in Weekend League. But that could also be part of the fun of it. I understand that. The other thing I have to say is, what are these cards going to be juiced like up to? Are they going to be absolutely gassed in terms of stats? Or is it just going to be plus ones and plus twos? I mean, if EA want this to be really fun... Wouldn't they just juice? The, I'm, I'm thinking they might juice the cards. Like if they absolutely boost the heck out of Rodri, these are predicted stats. Nothing of this is official. Like if they just give Rodri plus 15 pace and give him like basically make it look like a team of the year, maybe like a insane stat boost. And they let us use these nuts cards for a weekend. That would kind of be cool. Even though it'd be only for the weekend, that would kind of be awesome. So I don't know, guys, there's still some questions that we have. And I'm not trying to hype this up too much because I think it's going to be a big deal. But um, I also, I hope that it's executed correctly because if the rewards are not good and if it's annoying or however we get the objective done for this whole, whatever we're earning, the permanent rewards that we're going to earn, I hope it's just a fun experience and not super in-depth and super sweaty, I guess, is what we would say as well. So I'm really curious to see... Um, what the cards are juiced up to and what we have to do to get the objective done. And it says at the bottom that Ballon d'Or cards will not be available in store packs. But remember this, the Ballon d'Or nominee pack. Um, they said here that it, it, this pack includes five rare golds rated 85 or higher with one guaranteed to be a Ballon d'Or nominee. And that's, I'm guessing, a loan as well as a global loan. So 
are there actually cards that people could get extra? Like if you go and open a store pack, is that a little pay to win action here instead of even this weekend event? If you go open this pack in the store, you can get an extra nominee that you could go and run in your weekend league with a loan. You know what I'm saying? So that's that feels a little pay to win to me as well. Uh, last thing I will mention is global loans, right? We've had timed loans recently with like the Marmouche players where once you unlock it, the loan timer starts. These are global loans. So they'll start, all the loans will start at the same time and end at the same time. That's kind of the similar thing to the FIFA 23 World Cup cards that all ended on the same day and thankfully disappeared. So I have questions. I hope this is juiced. I hope it's fun. And I don't want to get my hopes up too much because this is a new type of thing. And whenever there's new types of stuff going on in this game, we always have a lot of questions. So we'll have to see how that plays out. But I do want to, I want to say something really quick about how this could impact the market. If EA is going out and giving everybody two insanely juiced cards, or at least two good cards this weekend to use in their weekend league teams to play for rewards that are extra, everybody's going to do it, right? Could that actually impact the market where people are buying less cards instead of buying, you know, somebody like Vinny for their left wing, they get a Vinny Ballon d'Or card. They don't need to go buy in Vinny. There's maybe going to be a bit of a market hit because of this. I don't want to say a market crash because it's only temporary and it's only loans, but I'm just really curious to see how this impacts the market because it might mean there's less demand for certain cards because of people using those Ballon d'Or items. And so, yeah, that's kind of an uncharted territory in terms of the market aspect of this as well. So, again, that's the weekend event that's going to start around Foot Champs time and it's going to end sometime during the weekend. It's not going to go the whole week. It's just a shortened time frame. Now, let's talk about Centurions, right? Again, Centurions, normal promo. The weekend event, Ballon d'Or, going on at the same time, separate loan stuff only. We have a big leak when we talk about Centurions. We have our first Icon SBC of the year, and usually this would deserve its own video and it would deserve its own hype, but it's getting lumped in with everything else right now because it's Verone. First icon SBC of the year, potentially being Verone, a fodder icon. No disrespect to him or Argentinians in any regard. This could be a good card, but I don't think it's going to be expensive. And maybe that's what EA wants. I remember Centurion's icon SBCs of last year, like we talked about recently. We had the Pirlo, we had the Vintage. Those were both cards that were juiced pretty good and they were usable and the prices were decent as well. But if they don't juice this Verone card up very much or maybe change playstyle plus, or if they, if they make them expensive, it's not going to end up being a good SBC. So I have hopes for this of making a what you would normally call unusable icon usable. But I can't say that I'm super excited for it. We're going to have to see EA deliver on this one before we get really excited. But that is our first technically icon SBC of the year that has been officially leaked. Now, let's talk about probably the bigger SBC. This. Darwin Nunez has been leaked to come as a Centurions SBC. I would have to imagine either they drop Verone tomorrow on Friday or they drop this Darwin Nunez. This one could be massive. Darwin Nunez, huge name. Liverpool, of course, the Lynx. Everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot of people used his Power Shot Plus evolution at the start of the year. Last year in 24, he was a very common Evo card. Even at the end of 24 with that uh, that year, or Copa America card that he had too that was super crazy. So the interesting thing about this SBC for me is what playstyle plus are they going to give him? I'd imagine he have a playstyle plus. If, of course, they would not not give him one, right? Would they give him rapid? Would they give him power shot? With how OP power shots are, I'm kind of hoping that he gets that. But he's got rapid quick step and relentless on his base card. He's got advanced and poacher plus. And then he's got good stats besides the dribbling and the, and the passing, really. But you're here for the shooting, the pace, and the physical. So really curious to see if they boost the skill moves boost the weak foot, and how expensive this will be. But it's such a big-name player. I mean, this is probably on par. This is on par or above Musiala and Rafinha, in my opinion, for hype on this game. But again, it's Prem. Prem tax. He might be a pretty expensive SBC, and that could turn some people away from this card. We'll just have to see how good it's boosted, and we'll have to see what the price is for sure for this Darwin Nunez. But Strikers could take a huge hit if he's well-priced, if he's hyped, and a lot of people are doing Darwin... This could actually hurt some striker prices on the game this weekend. And Liverpool links are already starting to rise, but they could move even further. Kind of how we saw the Barca links move a lot for Rafinha and some of the, um, the, the Bayern links move for Musiala as well, since they were really hyped SBCs or at least hyped enough for a lot of people to want and go and do them and then link some cards 
to them. So that's the one thing that I would watch out for. And then we do have a couple of Centurions links uh, leaks for cards that would be coming into packs for the regular Centurions promo on Friday. Hansen, Rodri, and Lautaro. And I have some questions here. Is there going to be overlap between who's in packs as a Centurion and then who's going to be given out for free as a loan in the Ballon d'Or event? I also don't like that. I mean, Hansen, she was in Ballon d'Or voting. Rodri won the Ballon d'Or. Lautaro Martinez was seventh in the Ballon d'Or voting. You would imagine if they're doing top 10 for men and women for these nominees, that all three of those would also have Ballon d'Or loan cards. That's going to become really confusing for a lot of people in this game. If they've got a loan version of a Ballon d'Or card, they think that it's the same one that's in Centurions. I don't know. Like, I see com some confusion happening with that. I'm not a huge fan of it. But those are some pretty big names and could be some really, really good cards in this promo of Centurions, right? Again, it's like two different things going on this weekend, trying to keep them straight. Watch out for more leaks today. I would 100% think this is the new trend. The leakers like to invest in the cards before they go out of packs. So like Graham Hanson, I was just looking at her tonight. They wait for Rattles Reward Supply to hit. She's kind of down a little bit from where she was yesterday. I would imagine the leakers start posting cards later on today so that they can buy the cards and then try to profit off of them afterwards. That's just what I think is going to happen. We'll see if it actually does or if it doesn't. That's one thing to watch out for today is more leaks for Centurion's promo. And then we got to talk about the market as we're kind of leading into here. Speaking about prices, you see I've got coins. And that is abnormal for a Thursday video because usually we're investing everything for a Rivals Rewards market rise. Now, the problem this week is we're kind of on a new trend. The market is going to go up today. I believe that it is. But the difference is... We didn't have a big SBC yesterday like a hero pack or an icon pack to drop the market. And if you take a look at some prices of players, like previous weeks we've seen, the market drops on Wednesdays. Like Tuesday, Militao last week was 160. There wasn't that big of a drop last week either, but he went down to 150 lows. Last week is a really small drop. You saw a nice rise. This week, the market's dropped a little bit, at least his card has since Monday, but most cards are actually going up since Sunday and Monday, and then look at his card in the past few hours. He's gone from 150k on Tuesday, early Wednesday, 150k. He's now 170,000 coins as people are just going and buying anything on the market right now. It's, it feels like FOMO buying. The market still could go up today. We're getting coin injection as we do every single week with Division Rivals Rewards. I'm just a little more cautious and hesitant this week about how big the rises will be. I think you have to pick the right cards. It's going to be more important this week to pick the right cards that maybe are more hyped or more rare or just cards that people are going to want to buy today after getting Rivals Rewards because I don't think it's just going to be, oh, everything goes up today because some stuff really didn't drop or maybe the percentages of how much cards go up won't be as much today because it hasn't been panic sold off the day before, before the Rivals Rewards time frame. So that's one thing I did want to mention to you guys. Like I said, I've already picked up a couple of cards. I picked up a Harry Kane Road to the Knockouts at 715k. Yes, they did perform well yesterday. He's not getting any upgrades, but now it looks like he's just a couple cards from 780. So if we're able to sell him for like 780, 770, That'd be a really nice flip. I picked up a Malagusto to sell in the hype of their game today. And I'm still looking at some out-of-packs cards like Total Rush and Trailblazers. But I think what I'm going to do now, since I haven't invested all of my coins, I'm going to look into just flipping cards that get packed today. I'm going to look at gold cards. I know I mentioned the Graham Hansen, uh, Teo Hernandez. And this is a little bit more of a higher budget investment here. But if you're going lower budget, maybe a guy like Kunde. Or maybe a guy like Rudiger buying them during the supply of rivals. And of course, Trailblazers cards today. Trailblazers team two. Huge opportunity with investing in these cards today too. After they get packed during the rivals rewards and they get supplied. Diaz, Gioro, Pop, Dembele, Rodman, Bremer. Um, club stock, a Samba. Everybody today watching this video, buy one Samba. Put it in your transfer list. He'll probably go up eventually for a uh, French card with a playstyle plus. That is a goalkeeper. That's a great card to club stock. I think this Melo card is a great card to club stock as well. Nico Paz at this card. Uh, you know, Zakaria is going to drop today. Grimaldo is 28K. He's probably going to drop today as well. His pack weighs insane. But there's going to be so many people wanting to invest, myself included. I'd love to buy two or three Grimaldos, maybe five even at like 25K. I hope he goes to like 25K. I think he just was on Snipe. 
just a bit ago. Yeah, 25,850. That's probably low enough for me, but he's probably going to dip again during the supply today. And then just, it'll take a few days for him to go up. If you look at Team One Trailblazers, some of these cards, it took multiple days too, but now they're really starting to fly, like Duran. I think Duran has more hype than Grimaldo did, but Duran was his lowest for sure on Thursday and Friday of last week. And then he went up a lot into this week. So I don't know if the rise is going to be as insane for a guy like Grimaldo, but big name player, Bundesliga left back, whipped pass plus, great card. I think that's definitely worthy of a club stock, even though he's got so much supply. It'll probably take him a while to go, but I think he'll be a good investment. Marmouche will drop today. I think could be a decent investment as well. He's got Power Shot Plus. He's decently hyped too at the moment. You know, all of these cards I think have potential to rise, but I think we need to see them drop first. And same thing with the team of the week eight. Definitely watch Diani, Geikerez, Kirkes, and Onabate today. I think they'll get supplied and then rise. And then, of course, for gold cards, kind of the same thing. I think that's more of what I'm going to look for today, trading wise, is to buy the dip during the supply on the cards that I think could continue to rebound. Um, and then also pick up some cards there and then sell them into the hype on Friday. Um, I know we had the whole new Ballon d'Or thing that we're trying to wrap our minds around and everything regarding that, but I think that'll still bring plenty of opportunities to buy cards on the low today during Rivals Rewards and sell them on the high. I just don't know if all the special cards that have been bought up and invested in by a lot of people um, since the market's been slowly climbing, if they're going to go up as much today. That's kind of what I'm thinking with the out of pack special cards, but we'll have to see. Really quickly, Thursday content today to end off this video. We do have a big SBC that is refreshing today. And of course, it is the hero pack, the base hero upgrade. And uh, this one, guys, I don't think I would really invest in fodder today because we saw how it did not do very well last week. 85s and 86s in a team of the week. If you wanted to buy any fodder today, what I would look into buying on bid during rivals would be 86s because if these are at 9,000 coins, this is really low. Like they have not been 9,000 coins bef until um, the end of October where we just were starting to get some of the big icon hero packs and they went crazy, right? These are low enough that you could buy and hold on to them for a little while. If you really want to do that, I personally wouldn't today, but those are getting pretty cheap. Those could, maybe they go up to 10,000 coins today as people need them to do the hero pack if they want to do it again. But I don't know if this SBC has enough juice to make those cards actually go up. Maybe the Darwin would have enough juice. Usually for player SBCs, though, you don't see as much fodder movement unless there's a higher rated squad. So, um, yeah, I guess I would look at the 86s. Those look the most appealing to me at the moment. 87s a little bit too. But I wouldn't expect that stuff to move today that much because of this hero upgrade pack refreshing. Maybe the team of the weeks on the higher tier would have the most movement there. And then, of course, we're going to get a new set of marquee matchups. Maybe we get a decent pack out of here. Maybe we don't. Thursdays are usually quiet, though. And there is a shout maybe for the Andrew Robertson left back SBC. But now, the more that I think about it, we saw um, more of those moments SBCs when, right, on Saturdays. So we may actually not get the Robbo SBC that is out there and leaked as well, that moments card. I think it'll either be today or it'll be Saturday, one of the two. So that's kind of what we're looking into for content today. Never a crazy day, but probably some more leaks related to the Centurions cards from team number one. We know the icons already, which we looked at. We'll talk more about that in tomorrow and we'll double down again and talk a little bit more about this whole loan situation. But let me know what you guys think because this doesn't seem like something that's super crazy, but it's about the Ballon d'Or and they're going to be giving, I think they're going to juice the cards, guys. I really think so, because why else? If they're going to give simple plus ones, then what's the hype in that? Sure, they give you a free card to use, but I think they're going to juice these, man. We'll have to see, uh, but we'll talk about it as we get more leaked information and news. And of course, before we see it tomorrow on Friday as it comes out. But that's the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you on the second channel for an upload there where I got my Rivals rewards. We'll be opening those today on stream. That link is down below in the description as well. Appreciate you guys. Have a great Thursday. It's been Nathan for the count. See you later. Peace.